Now, a number of allegations of sexual assault against famous men have come out in recent days. Some see it as a cynical way of distracting from the anti-racism movement, but more still see it as an important part of getting justice. He just grabbed me. He just grabbed me. And I'm saying no. I was reduced to nothing in that moment. On the record. An HBO Max documentary about allegations against music mogul Russell Simmons is a reminder that the issues highlighted by the Me Too movement remains prevalent. Over the past few weeks, there have been accusations against big names in the entertainment industry. Some streaming sites have pulled an episode of Workaholics in which Chris Dahlia plays a child molester. Several women, some as young as 16, have accused the comedian of trying to engage them sexually. Dahlia has denied the claims but admits to being a quote, dumb guy, caught up in his lifestyle. Fellow comedians Amy Schumer and Whitney Cummings have spoken out in support of the woman, with Schumer asking people to contact her if they need help. Baby Driver actor Ansel Elgort has denied sexually assaulting a 17-year-old in 2014. He was 20 at the time and says his relationship was entirely consensual. Justin Bieber has denied allegations on Twitter that he sexually assaulted a woman in 2014. In a detailed response, the star has disputed the report, saying he is looking to take legal action. Actors of teen drama Riverdale have also denied accusations for sexual misconduct made by anonymous users. Cold Sprouse, Lily Reinhardt, Vanessa Morgan and KG Apa are all implicated. In a Twitter thread, Sprouse says false accusations damage victims of actual sexual assault and that he is working to get to the bottom of the allegations. YouTuber Syndicate, whose real name is Tom Cassell, has been accused of rape by Twitch streamer Natalie Casanova. He's also accused of abusing former girlfriend Caitlyn Witcher. I don't want her to feel alone. Like how I, I felt alone. Castle has denied the allegations. Several women have taken to social media to highlight sexual harassment and abuse from fellow content creators in the gaming industry. In at least one case, criminal action followed. David Gillard, a talent manager and the executive producer of films such as Atomic Blonde and Extraction, was charged with 11 sex crimes, including rape, kidnapping to commit rape, and rape of a drug victim. He has denied the charges. Gillard has been dogged by abuse complaints since 2017, when actress Jessica Barth accused him of drugging and sexually assaulting her. The allegations came at the height of the Harvey Weinstein scandal, but it took almost three years for Gillard to be charged.